The Adoration of the Magi, a Yuletide Triptych, Part 1. It's time to put up the Christmas tree, adorn it with fragile living creatures. Time to visit the department stores, see various displays of human beings trapped, vicious in nature, but it's always viscous in her dreams. Schizo Yuletide, pieces of two. The Magi screamed at the door of the manger at the sight of the alien child. They had been misdirected and spoke no more. While holding shadows between her fingertips, a mother licked her lips and screamed. Snow angels slipped away. Transparent to many, they wandered aimlessly through streets and back alleys. The necklace of hands was clasped at her throat. Her sins were heavy. The drone of prayers embarrassed her. The presence under the tree was lying to decay. The snowmen panted outside the window. Everything was a whirl and she couldn't stop it. Sins of the parents burned into her brain. Mommy and Daddy's wardrobe lay tattered in the backyard. The wholesome meal was corrupted. Memories of the incident of the holy innocence. Daddy and Mommy's faces were burning in the fireplace. More sources of energy for the never-ending Yule Log. Centaurs lost their thrones while wandering in the forest in search of reproductive pleasure. Gifts from Herod rang down on the congregants, emphasizing the betrayals smoldering in their collective brain. A vagabond took the infant and secluded themselves in the catacombs, waiting for the ransom, hoping for the criminals. Part 2. Under a blue sky as the snow fell, while making snow angels, the kidnapper committed suicide. His body transformed into honey and flies, a new transubstantiation. The limited noise of the massacre panel caused the landscape of her eyes to twist as she murdered her husband and searched for her offspring, weeping in fulfillment at the event of recovery, without music, without pain, with only silence. External images were sketched, three figures were generated, the painter lacerated her canvases and discovered another image under her skin. Part 3. Unrepentant and unforgiving, a partridge flew into shards of glass. The identifications of the bodies had commenced. As usual, the cops were no help. They follow random footprints into the 1963 Bing Crosby special to be followed by the Perry Como show. These played in the background as the family opened their presents. These played in the background as the nails were sharpened and the manger door was nailed shut. These played in the background as the self-immolation occurred, rumored to be a fire from heaven. While holding shadows between her fingertips, a vixen licked her lips and shimmied her hips. The sins of the parents burned into her brain. The snowmen panted outside the window. We were unaware that these snowmen had teeth. Eyes burned outside the windows. Thank you.